What's up guys, welcome to the Stat Street Sports channel. Let's get right into it. Here to bring you a prediction video on Debo Samuel. I believe he'll be traded to the Houston Texans. Now let's get right into it. So the former wide back, now just receiver D Debo Samuel, wants to be traded. He has requested a, a trade officially. And it's just funny seeing all the mean, you know, the internet saves everything. And seeing all the, the memes and the um, the videos of him from the Pro Bowl and him from the year saying he's playing wide back, a wide receiver playing running back, and now he has a usage, quote-unquote, usage issue with the Niners, not the money, but he doesn't want to play running back anymore or wide back. And it's just funny. It's really hilarious to me. Um, but it makes sense, you know, dealing with him dealing with um, some injury um, issues, you know, being a wide back, playing running back a lot, you know, you see why running backs have a have a short NFL lifespan. You know, it, it makes sense. Too many, too much pounding, too much hits. You know, and he has a body for it, but you gotta have the mentals for it too. He might not have that the heart and the three or four. He wants the ball in his hands a lot, but that don't mean you want to get the running back and get you know get by there and hit by them linebackers and stuff. So it is it is a difference. But on to why I chose the Houston Texans. Um, it makes sense to me. You know, the uh, against other teams first. So you would think the Packers, which makes sense, all the sense in the world, yes, but I don't think Green Bay goes to a rival. You know, um, you go to, you know, Seahawks and, you know, obviously no, you know. So a lot of NFT a lot of NFC teams are canceled out. Even though he can still go there, you know, um in the NFC West teams definitely no. Um, probably NFC teams in general I'll say no, but you know, they they would have to probably come with a better offer. So you go to the Chiefs. I don't think that I don't think they're willing to pay Debo. I don't think so. You know, he's good to have for a year or two. I don't think the Chiefs would like to view him. You know, as, I don't think I don't think that the Chiefs would want him as a long term option, even at receiver. You know, um, I think Debo has a short lifespan. One of not lifespan, excuse me, short NFL lifespan with them hits taken last year and the year before. You know, um, I think Debo kind of has a shorter lifespan than he wants to admit publicly. I don't think a good four-year, five-year deal makes sense for for the Chiefs. I think a two-year deal if it were to happen. So, I don't think the Chiefs would want to extend him that long for that amount of money. Um, some say the Lions. He would have to agree on going to the Lions. <laughs> I don't think he would. Jared Goff at quarterback, nah. <laughs> nah, I don't, I don't think so. So, the Jets, I say a big no. They wouldn't give up. Uh, we've seen their rumored, uh, I think it's been confirmed actually. We've seen the the, the uh, Jets and their uh, trade package for Tyree Hill. Tyree Hill is a better pure receiver than Debo Samuel, and they didn't give up a first pick, a first round pick at all. They definitely didn't. It was like a second, a third, and some and some change. There was no first round pick at all. So no. They're not going to give a first-round pick for Tariq. They dang sure not giving one for a strictly wide receiver, Debo Samuels. No, not going to happen. So that comes to the Houston Texans. They need a receiver, obviously, to pair with, with Brandon Cooks. They have a good young quarterback in Davis Mills who's on the cheap deal. You know, Although he's not a first-round pick, his contract year will come up sooner. Or they could just come with a new, a new rookie quarterback another year or two. You know, Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, anyone from next year's draft class maybe. If, if they don't want to pay meals or whatever happens. So, you know, um, I think the Houston, and they have two first-round picks. They have pick three and pick 13. I think the Texans will be willing up, will, will be willing to give up pick 13, bring in Debo, because I don't think Debo is worth a big haul. You know, I think an early pick is is, is needed because the Niners need a first-round uh, first pick. They have a second, so give them at least a first-round pick, which is a, a, a decent pick, pick 13. And then I think the the rest is cool. Maybe a late fourth, maybe a fifth. But I don't think it's a super crazy haul for Debo Samuel. I really don't think so. So I think Houston can nail him, get get pick 13, um, maybe, like I said, fourth or fifth. And I think Debo could, could be had by Houston Texans. Uh, you know, players might not love the Houston Texans, the, the, the team, but, the, you know, outside the, the field, Texans, Houston, it uh, um, is a good place to live at. You know, it's a very good place to live at. Very fun place for athletes, people who have money. You know, so I I, I would think personally, and no state income tax. 
you know. So I would think Houston is the place to be. Um, and it's like their team was on up and up, kind of sort of. <laughs> you know, it's not bad. You know, you, you saw Davis Mills show flashes. You signed Brandon Cooks to a two, three year deal or whatever it was. You know, so they have a running back now I like a lot in Marlon Mack. Played for the Colts, was stranded in the Colts for the last couple of years. So I like the squad so far. They're still building. Obviously, they have Larry Tunsil, but you know, if you bring in Debo Samuel, you're gonna have hope. You're gonna have hope. You're gonna have more more weapons. Um, you know, and and even without a second first round pick, you have pick thirteen. You could still trade Tunsil to get a first round pick back, maybe. But if not, you know, you you still have. You, you still have good weapon. I mean, good picks to build weapons with, you know, pick three, you, you have to nail it. You know, you have to nail it. You do you have a second, third, you know, whatever. So you still have picks to work with losing the 13th uh, is, is tough, but you're going to get a proven star for at least a couple years. You know, if his body ever breaks down, it'll probably be another three years, two, three years. So you have a, a star for at least two, three, two, I say two years max, uh, two years minimum, excuse me. Um, you know, three, four, or five is pushing it, but for the first two years, Debo should be solid there. And you try to resurrect your, you know, you, you try to give your team hope, make the good picks, the right picks. And I think it'll work out for the Texans in the long run. So that's it for the video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.